Paul says, I want to know Christ. Really, that's his purpose in life. So the question for today is, do you have a purpose for your life? Could you say, could you tell someone what that purpose is? Romans 8.28 says, All of us are called according to God's purpose. That word is used only twice by Paul, and it answers the why question. Everything works for good because it is according to God's purpose. Paul did not bring himself to faith. Paul didn't keep himself in faith. No, that was God's doing, and it was according to God's purpose. And so it is for all of us. I've talked about this before, but when I was a little kid, I always wondered why my mother sent me to Bible camp every summer two and three times when every other kid in the neighborhood <laughs> was just sent once. Well, the interesting thing is, and of course my mother did say, because I wanted you out of the house. The interesting thing is, it did have an impact on me. I heard God's word, and over all of those multiple times, and I'm being perfectly serious here, over all of those multiple times, I really did hear God call me into ministry. And I mean, I was little, 10, 11, 12 years old. It wasn't something that I talked a lot about in the beginning because I wasn't sure what people would think. But it was clear. And what I'm saying is, that's the purpose for my life, and it has been since I was little. Today we hear in Romans 8, 28, the Apostle Paul saying that we're called according to God's purpose. That's true for each and every one of us, honestly, because it's our baptismal heritage if someone asks you if you have a purpose for your life, you can say, you bet I do. Just like Paul, I'm all about introducing people to Jesus. I'm all about helping people to get to know him better if they've already met him. What a great purpose that is for you and for me, really for any child of God. Honestly, you know it and I know it. That's what grace to go looks like.